Ever since Gradient was announced on ships, lines, and border, we Canva designers have been dying so hard for Gradient on text. But look, the wait is over because a new app has been introduced in Canva that can help you do this easily. And I'm going to show you how to get this done right now, right in this video. So before you get into it, okay, subscribe if you haven't because this channel is all about Canva. And just in case you're in the free version of Canva, I have a link in the description box below that can help you start using Canva Pro for free. Make sure to check it out. There are so many free templates as well in the description box below. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing we are going to do is have your blank canvas open and this time around you can use any blank canvas because we are just going to test this tool out okay then come to apps okay make sure you're searching for apps and just come in here and search for gradient okay so gradient you should see type gradient so select it and it should load easily and quickly depending on your internet speed okay and uh, it should also load everything up okay enough of the talking now you can see what we have in here is what will you design today so i can just say i would want fried rice okay so let me just type fried it looks like i forgot how to spell fried rice okay then that's where you enter your tag then we have this next um section which allows you to choose the font you want okay and this has a lot of fonts a lot of fonts are uh, in here and you can choose any of them so we'll choose the bangers for this particular font and make sure you close you know yeah you go back then the next part is alignment so depending on the alignment you're looking for you can choose that and this would really come in handy when you have a sentence okay so that's what we are going to do then the height if there's a line height if it's a whole sentence you need to determine the height of it now the sweet part of it is the gradient okay so this is where you'll be choosing the colors you want to use and you know with gradient the best way to use gradient is using colors that are next to each other because in this case they blend easily and smoothly into the next color okay so over here i can start with the red okay then i can choose the second color and start with you know going to yellow okay then if you want a third color all you need to do is to select this and add a third color okay so the third color i would go with green but if you don't want a third color you can just click delete and you just have a two color gradient okay but if you want a third color or a three color gradient click and you would have the option to add a third color and we can see how this is looking very beautiful so now we can see this is how everything's going to look but there is the option to animate or no to customize how you want your gradient to look okay so i would you know just drag this here and i would always advise that you really spread it out so that we can really see the gradients okay then click on add to design just to add your gradient or your gradient text to your design and you can see how everything is looking this is very very beautiful wow that's nice and just in case you want to edit it or if you had so many texts in here you can still customize this or make edits just click on it and it should open over here for you so that you can maybe tweak things out a little bit so you can add as many colors as possible okay then update and you should see it apply on your you know element because now it becomes an element not an actual text okay yes so this is what you can do now let's also try another option to create the golden gradient we created some time ago i hope you remember yeah so let's see how to create that in here okay so we are going to update this design because initially because we couldn't um have gradient text we just had to go with this okay so what we are going to do is i will come back into the app okay and i will just search for the type gradient again okay so type gradient okay gradient it's not like i'm telling you to type gradient i'm just saying the name is type gradient <laughs> all right so it should load all the resources we will need okay then we can just say 20 percent okay then i will choose poppins okay so there's poppins in here because i use poppins for this design and the amazing thing they have all the varieties okay or all, all the fonts of poppins so i can choose this and go back and you can see the first um, color for our gold, do you remember? Because we actually had a whole tutorial on that. So it's E E B A to B. Okay, that's the first color. Then the second color, you know, in fact, let me copy the first color because you no, know, I think another one has been added. Yeah. So let me select it and copy. Okay, because we will need it again. Then I will delete this and this one is 95E00. Okay then we have the third one which is going to be the same as the first one so i'll paste it over here and this is what we have you can see it 
then I would spread it out something like this I believe is very cool then add to design okay then I can just even delete this uh, right and I'll make it bigger if you can see what we now have and duplicate it and position it over here then maybe just move everything up a little bit okay and let's center this as well so come to center lovely then we'll choose just for the second one then we can come here and say off okay so you can see it's very 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 nice then update element and this is what we have at the moment and i'll select everything and reduce the size nicely like we have over here and yes this is how to use the new gradient feature inside of canva i hope you found this helpful if you really did then please hit on the like button to support this video if you still haven't subscribed kindly subscribe and just in case there is any tutorial or any design you want me to create in canva leave it in the comment section below and i should make a tutorial a whole video on that for you okay the name is benjamin osh remember there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video.